you Jamila for having me. Um, really, uh, this is really nice being with you, having this conversation because I believe what you're going to talk about today, mental health, more people should be yes. knowing about. So yeah, my name is Felista Amundi Awur. You can choose whatever name you will be from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of community development work um, in Daburiti. So basically creating awareness on issues affecting youth and my community through art. So that is arty, poetry, I also write blogs yeah. and stuff. Okay, so I have a campaign uh, in form of a petition. Yeah. So this petition is basically going to tell the government to uh, provide free accessible and affordable mental health services for people living in grassroots areas. So basically erecting um, mental health department and mental health services for in every public uh, hospital. Because um, when you look at the mental health uh, policy in Kenya right now, we have like uh, a counseling psychologist that comes to level 4 and level 5 hospitals in one day only one day a week. Mm -hmm. But when you look at different uh, grassroots areas, we have like uh, hundreds and thousands of people. They can't access this um, service. Yes, yes. And the level four and level five hospitals, they are really far. They're not even accessible to these people. Mm -hmm. But we have these uh, public hospitals like within our wards. If we can have mental health services, regardless of uh, the level, of the hospital, I believe it can, a lot of people in grassroots areas can like get the mental health services they need. Because in Kenya right now, like one in ten uh, youths have a mental health uh, disorder that they don't know about. And mostly they don't seek for help because they don't know how to, yeah. and because the services are not there, and even if they're there, they're either far or they're too expensive for them. Uh, I finished my high school very early on in life. I was like 16 years old. Wow. And I am an average student, so that enabled me to go to the university. But I couldn't because of uh, my financial and my family couldn't take me to school, regardless of me being sponsored by the government. Yeah. So I spent, you know, uh, when you're growing up, you're told. <laughs> Go to school, you read a line. Yeah. When you finish, uh, go to the university, study hard, get a degree, uh, go out there, look for a job. Mm -hmm. And when you're employed, <laughs> get my money so that yes. you can come back and build your mama house. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for me, that meant uh, my life was actually over. My mm -hmm. life was over. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like get to go to the university. And uh, a lot of issues surrounded that because I had a lot of uh, fee arrears in my yeah. high school, and so the school uh, declined me to like get my results. So even if my family, <laughs> I could have maybe gotten maybe the twenty thousand to go back to uh, to, to join the university, I still didn't have my certificates. Mm -hmm. So that was a challenge for me. And uh, growing up, I was a really silent kid because I've grown up with this narrative that. A silent kid is a good kid. Yes. I check you out when you're calling money no mingi. Mr. Kurawa no mingi is not a good person. Yeah. So I grew up silent. Mm. And that impacted my life in a negative way. Mm. Because at that time I developed a lot of stress. Uh stress slowly turned into I can say depression because yeah. I was sad most of the time. Mm. I didn't know what else because I grew up knowing you had to study. But now, my journey to study was actually over. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. So I was really depressed. Number one, I didn't know how to talk. I couldn't like just go outside and tell someone this is what is happening. Mm -hmm. Because I was also um, ashamed, you know. Uh, like my family expected me to get a really high grade, but I got a C plus. So it was a lot of pressure for me. And I didn't know how to like get it out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, this was like I'm 17 years old, and this is like, a lot of pressure on me. Yeah. And I decided, okay, I I want to do something. I want to do something. Like I want to get out. So my form of getting out was getting out of the house. 
I used to go to um, our empowerment center. Mm. So like, bless the government for social halls. <laughs> so I could go to the social hall and like see a lot of youths are happy, you know, they are happy. I mean, people are like, okay, I've finished my high school, I'm going, I'm going on to the university. Uh, my mom is already buying this for me. And I'm like that, I don't know how I'm going to continue to, uh, with my studies. Yeah. And then something else, I have like uh, two other siblings, so my mom can't like cut fees for them. Yeah, and she like, managed to take you to campus, yeah. Yeah, that, that was next to impossible. They could go to other spaces and meet other youths, you know, like people don't care. Mm. People are like, uh, there are other people who are going to the universities and there are these other people who never went to the university. But they're not even in self pity. They're doing something with the little they have. Yeah. So uh, at the, it was at that time that um, I helped co found a, a CBA, a community based organization. And it helped me um, realize there's a lot of things we, are, we can do surrounding mental health. Mm. And it was just. Uh, for like four years, for the past four years I've been running along with them. And the stories I get um, in my community, people really are in need of uh, yeah, getting mental health services. This year, I got the courage to um, speak to a therapist. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah. And I've been having like therapy sessions, like uh, cleansing my spirit or the pain, the heart, and the expectations we put to ourselves that yeah. end up messing up with our mind. So I can say like um, we still have a long way to go because uh, we still need uh, mental health services uh, in schools. We still need mental health services uh, on our social empowerment centers. Uh, awareness around mental health, a lot of people will start saying, ah, this is a red flag. I need maybe to go and see a therapist. Uh, this is what I've been doing. Can I like have a conversation about myself to see if um, where my mental state is? Yeah. I think when we are going to like do a lot of uh, awareness in mental health, people, especially the youth, will like stop, breathe and really um, analyze the mental state. Because our mental state is one area of our lives that we usually ignore mm. until it's too late. Yes. Uh, this is like uh, that time when HIV and AIDS was like a really, really big thing yes. during the 2000s. Mm. So, many is AIDS. Ningeona tu kwa kishangu ni kujulia msimu ni skeleto na kubeba na mwanamke. Zinaka after the late it doesn't have water. Mm. So, um, what, we, uh, what a lot of uh, CSOs and CBOs were doing around AIDS, like only simplify your information. Mm. These are the steps. And before we get full bloom AIDS, kuna kitu in between. Yeah, so say you can use anything about HIV and AIDS, mm. the first thing that comes to mind is prep and prep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we've made a lot of noise yeah. on that. So, what you can do about mental health, control your narrative, we make a lot of noise about it. Yes. You're not okay mm. until your mental state is okay. okay yeah. no, no. We start from there. We don't start at Madare, mm. but we are not go admitted mm. to Madare. We, start, we begin at, are you okay? Mm. Because most times when you ask, are you okay? Yeah. The answer is, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. mm. But are you really okay? We start from that. Yeah. If we can like have um, awareness on the 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 thing itself, like the question itself, mm. are you okay? Let to say it's okay. Mm. It's, it's for okay you to, to say be no. okay. Yes. yes, it's okay for you to go to to say no. Because mm. there, you're not okay. Because sometimes you're not okay, and you yes. don't feel like saying no because you feel umtwa tani bebaaje, or maybe at a fikiria like I'm looking for sympathy. I'm not gonna self pity, you know. Yeah. But we start from there, the basic thing. How are you feeling? Leo na feel. Baby Jamila, how are you feeling? You're okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how we've been taught to answer. Even when you're going through a lot, when you're struggling, yeah. you just say you're okay. You're okay, mm -hmm. until you sense you're not. So we make uh, we make it uh, part of us because yeah. it is part of us. Yes. No, we make it like it is okay for you, like feeling all those emotions, and it is okay for you to say them out loud. Because we will not discriminate, we will not judge, you know? That is another area we need to like make a lot of noise. Yeah, I, okay, something else. Um, our children, we need to take care of our children. Yeah. So, mm. 
as parents, as teachers. Mm -hmm. I, I have this friend, uh, she, she teaches um, grade 7 and grade 8. Yeah. So like, Kulikuwa Costa from you know she's like, she's around 23 and she's new, she's this new generation when she doesn't beat kids mm -hmm. because we may answer something wrong in class. Mm -hmm. So the other teachers are okay, like, uh, Ana Rubisha. <laughs> because she doesn't use kids in yeah. form of punishment, mm -hmm. you know. So there's this kid that makes up a class for a staff room and he's crying. And I'm like, "Why are you crying? Someone is getting bigger." Do you know the first thing that that teacher remembers? When I'm not very cool, like yeah. And she's like, I think seven or eight years, mm -hmm. you know. So instead of tackling problems, mm -hmm. okay, like. We are already for outcome for mm. I don't even care. No, no, you don't care what happened, but we find. For mm. you know, these statements go to Yes. Because we grow up as children, mm. we grow up with statements. Mm. These statements does not have limitations. Quit. Yes. In grassroots areas, people mm. don't have access to the mental health awareness. Yeah. Number one, because information on mental health is too complex. Mm. To the ethical part, and you be simplifying things for people, mm. you know, because I do kids are probably like, uh, a book, a mental health, mm. you won't reach like page three because it's too complex. Yeah. And then people don't like um, do what? People don't customize it. Mm. 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 So like, oh, na feel like uh, someone killed another person. So I mean, me as day if kids are Yeah. But it may lead to that point. Mm. So we don't have simplified information. Mm. Number two, in grassroots areas, level four and level five hospitals are really far. Mm. So before I do about them, I will figure out. Like I how we are going to get a Another thing, we don't have level uh, four or level five hospitals in our grassroots areas. Yeah, we have like level three, is Kirudi Chini. Mm. Yeah, that is why, like in grassroots areas, it's really hard find mental health services. And mental health services in Ziko, the private ones, and they're yeah. really expensive. expensive. Imagine like, are you una earn like maybe less than 10K, mm -hmm. una like session more than 1,500. Now sessions, <laughs> sessions for therapy, mm -hmm. you talk. Yes. You talk for like, like let's say 40 minutes. Dr. Janza di kukuliza maswari and then a janza ku like, kupe advice, I'm just having that conversation, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, simply to put structures as a government, we have systems like we have like family planning mm. in every public hospital, regardless of the level itself. We have a department of family planning. Yeah. Let's have a department for mental health care. Yeah. Mm. No, no. Anytime, anytime you can access it. We have to go to Monday to Friday. Doctor, you have to come here on that Sita, Sasaba, Sanani, you have to Let's have mental health departments even. Any counseling uh, psychologist, in fact, like from your mind, you can talk to him. Like, ako readily accessible for you. No, no. That way, it's a very simple. Like, for you to just wake up. Utakwa na ile encouragement ya. I can find someone who is willing to talk to me. Na, it's really easy to talk to someone you don't know. Yeah. It's very easy, you know. Like, a link. A person is just, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here to listen I'm to you to with no judgment. Yeah, just lay it out on the table. No, no, it occupies a lot of encouragement. Yeah, so we we set up the structures in public hospitals. 